Hello, my SSH keys. Today, we're gonna to talk about hosting PocketBase on DigitalOcean. Now, it may seem a little early to do this because this is technically about going to production, but I do wanna show how easy it is to do this because this is a big sticking point for a lot of people. Uh, and I do think that learning how to self-host is a great skill, and PocketBase is kind of like the gateway drug to self-hosting. Um, now, if you want managed hosting, then we'll talk about a managed hosting provider in an upcoming video. Um, but we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in. I'm using DigitalOcean, you can use Hetzner. Um, Hetzner is really cost effective, but honestly their servers, is gonna sound weird, are a little overpowered for what we're doing because uh, Pocketbase is a Golang instance and it uses very little RAM, uh, it's very efficient. So for most apps, you can probably get away with a $4 or $6 DigitalOcean droplet. So we're gonna go ahead and create a droplet. A little inside baseball, the $4 droplet is only available in San Francisco. So if we scroll down and we click on basic and then regular, you can see right here that you have to click over to the left to be able to select the $4 month. So they've hidden it below the fold, but it is there. You can click on it. Um, and honestly, the 512 megabytes is more than fine for getting started. We're gonna actually turn on a backup plan. Now, when I'm doing development, I usually do a weekly backup, then I switch to daily when I go to prod. I'm gonna leave this daily for now. Um, and there are backups you can set up in Pocketbase as well, but this backups the entire droplet. And if something catastrophic, catastrophic happens, you can just click a button and, and basically roll it back to the previous day. Uh, and you can even do duplicates of backups if you wanna like do something for development purposes. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue on. Now I'm actually gonna use a password just because it'll be easier for us to do it here. So I'll do one pocket based and then uh, we're going to go ahead and turn on improved metrics and monitoring. We're not gonna worry about a database because it's gonna have that available for us. We're gonna call this pocket based. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and create droplet. Now, while that is being provisioned, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into manage and we are going to look for firewalls. So networking firewalls, I'm gonna create a new one. Oh, I guess I can do it here, create firewall. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do SSH port 22 uh, and then HTTPS 443. Uh, and then for outbound rules, we'll just allow all ports and we will apply this one to the pocket based, pocket based droplet. And then when we're done, we will call it pocket based. And we'll go ahead and create firewall. Now you can configure this in UFW on the actual uh, droplet, but I'm gonna suggest that you just use the DigitalOcean one because you can apply that to multiples and it's just a good tool to be aware of. So now we're gonna go back here. It looks like this has been created. So we're going to SSH root at this. We're going to connect. We're gonna do one, one pocket based. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna to go to pocketbase.io. We're gonna to go to the documentation. We're going to find the download for Linux. I'm just gonna copy that link. We're gonna do wget. Pull that down. And then if I'm lucky, do we have unzip on here? Yeah, I'm an unzip kind of guy. I never use tar. So we're gonna do apt install unzip. And then we're gonna do unzip pocket base. Okay, I had to run and go find a domain that would work for me. So what we're gonna do is in Squarespace, we're gonna go to our uh, domain name, we're gonna go to DNS settings, we're gonna do add record. In this case, this is gonna be a subdomain for me, so we'll do pocket based. We're gonna do an A record, and we're gonna grab the IP address from um, DigitalOcean. We're gonna drop that in, and then we're gonna go ahead and click save. Now, once that's in, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do pocket base, serve, and then pocket based dot chadflare.com. Yes, that's the name of my domain. And then we're gonna go ahead and copy this and paste it in here. And you can see that it immediately works and it's got SSL. So that's all set up. We're gonna go ahead and create our email and password. And we're gonna log in. 
Um, and now we technically have this running uh, on DigitalOcean on our custom domain. In our next episode, we are going to do some hardening and make sure that it is fault tolerant so that if somebody DDoSes it, then it will actually come back up instead of you know crashing for good into things like when you restart the web server, then it, it comes back up as expected.